A Swiss International Airlines, or Swiss flight, operated by an Air Baltic Airbus A220-300, was involved in an interesting incident on November 2nd. The aircraft flew more than two hours longer than its scheduled flying time from Zurich to Dusseldorf due to inclement weather. After attempting to land at Dusseldorf Airport four times, the pilots decided to turn around and return to Zurich Airport. The flight was initially slated to last just one hour and ten minutes, but flight data indicates that the entire ordeal took nearly three and a half hours, ultimately resulting in a flight to nowhere. The aircraft registered Yankee Lima Alpha Bravo Juliet, an Air Baltic A220-300, was operating on behalf of Swiss as flight LX-1018. The aircraft departed Zurich and made its way to Dusseldorf. Nearing its destination, the A220 was lined up, descending through 4,000 feet for its final approach onto runway 23 left. Flight tracking data shows that the landing was aborted, with pilots climbing to 5,000 feet to conduct a go-around and second landing attempt. The second time around, the aircraft had reached the airfield and remained airborne over the entire length of the runway. Unable to land the second time, the crew tried again, with pilots aborting the landing a third time. With the fourth attempt unsuccessful, the crew made the decision to divert back to Zurich. So what was the reason for the go-arounds and aborted landings? Well, a major storm was near Dusseldorf around the time of LX-1018's arrival. Strong crosswinds made it a challenging scenario for the pilots. An airport spokesperson commenting on the event said other flights attempting to land at Dusseldorf during that time were also impacted, saying, Due to strong crosswinds, the crew had to abort the landing maneuver and decided to fly back to Zurich. 14 flights were diverted to other airports and three flights were postponed. Additionally, it was reported that the inclement weather was responsible for 10 flights being cancelled on November 2nd as they could not take off safely. As highlighted by Flight Radar 24, structural crosswind limits for an aircraft type are set by test pilots during certification. Safety factors are then applied to get a more conservative limit in line with the skills of line pilots. Typical crosswind limits for commercial airliners range between 15 and 30 knots, approximately 28 to 55 kilometers an hour. However, it all depends on the aircraft model. Indeed, some larger and more advanced aircraft may have higher crosswind limits due to their advanced flight control systems and design features. Pilots themselves have personal crosswind limits based on their level of experience, and it's one of the reasons why airports like Madeira and Gibraltar are captain-only landings with some airlines. Have you ever experienced a go-around as a passenger? Share your experiences by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.